Morning, YouTubies. All right, today I'm having something I haven't had in, God, I don't even know how long. I don't even remember what they actually taste like. I don't even remember what's in them. Stuff on my shirt. Cat hair. All right. I'm having a chocolate. I can hang on to them. <laughs> Thumbnail. No, I'm not going to eat the whole pack. I'm only going to eat one. Then get it open. That's going to be the tricky part. Wow. Oh my gosh. You know, in some packages, you practically gotta have muscles to get it open, and I don't have no muscles. Alright. There's a, maybe a better thumbnail. What you make of it? Okay. Let's see. Yeah, I really don't even remember what is on these or in them because it's been so long made with chocolate peanut flavor crisps and caramel okay when I get candy mostly I stick with um, almond joys See what else was it? There's only a few particular candies that I actually usually get. I like them all, but only a few that I get for some reason. And then after a while, I feel like I'm in a rut. It's like I need something different. That's how it was with this. <laughs> it's like I need something different. Oh, and it's getting warm out here, and this is getting melty. Ugh. Okay. Oh my gosh. I had totally forgotten how good these are. I can definitely taste the chocolate and the peanut butter, but I can't taste the caramel. Just it kind of blends in, but why have I not gotten these for all these years? Well, I think, again, like I said, I usually get just certain kinds of candies. Mmm. I remember trying these for the first time. I think I was back... I was like between 18 and 22, something around there. Trying them for the first time. Oh, that was a million years ago. <laughs> Sometimes I wish I had a time machine so I could go back in time for different things. Mmm. I like how it's got that crunch. Mmm. That's good. Especially after not having them for like, what, 15, 20 years? I think when I get home, the rest of them are going to have to go in the freezer for a little while. Because, <laughs> like I said, it's getting melty out here. I don't know what I was thinking of bringing the whole package. I was in a hurry. Did not want to get my butt out of bed. Had a nightmare that me and the little gal that comes with her grandpa to dialysis, that we call Mouth of the South, 
or her family calls her, by the way. But um, I dreamed that her and I were with my dad at this like really, really, really crowded concert or something, and the concert was letting out. Well, in the amongst the crowd, I actually lost track of dad. So here I am trying to find him, and then next thing I know, I'm, I've lost mouth, trying to find her also, and the stairwell is like just going around and around and around and around. So here, the, the whole end of the dream, I'm just like going in circles, around and around and around, while looking for these two. I was so glad when the alarm went off, because I was tired of going in circles. Oh my god. Well, hey, par for the course about how I feel lately with everything in my life. I feel like I'm just going in circles. I hadn't thought about that until just now. Mmm. It's good. But sweet. <laughs> it's not overly sweet. It's just the fact that I don't eat hardly any sweets much anymore. Except little tiny bits here and there when doing the video. That's about all the sweets I eat. So I was like, hmm. I do like the crunch. Thing I realized lately that that's one thing I like about some certain foods and some candies is I like the crunch, I like the texture. I think on a lot of things, food and non-food, I'm texture based. Like I don't like mushy bananas. I like them when they are well, when you get them from the store and you get them home, they turn. Like when I get them from the store, when they're just still barely green, not real green, but barely green. Then of course, when you get them home, maybe a couple of hours later or the next morning, they're ripe. And they're that still firm texture. Those I like. When they get brown and mushy, like, ugh. I do save those for um, banana bread, but that's the only thing I use them on. Well, I took that back. I did use part of a mushy banana recently. I made a face mask out of it. So, but yeah. Also, I don't like kiwis. I think partly because of the taste and because they're mushy. And there's some other foods. I can't think of all of them right now, but most foods I like. It just not the really mushy ones and I guess it depends on what it is and the flavor of it of whether I'm gonna like it or not but like when we go to the store if I see soft fuzzy pillows you know those fur pillows well fake fur pillows and I guess I should say fox fur, technically. Fox fur pillows and fox fur blankets and all that kind of stuff. I've, it's like I've always got to touch everything to see how soft it is. Most of those aren't as soft as they look, you know? I have found that over the course of time. So if I usually get a, a fuzzy blanket, it's got to be soft. Unless it's just going to be something that's thrown on top of the bed. Or I don't actually cuddle up with it or something. Same with, I like the... It's not really... I know when you get it from Walmart, it's not silk. I don't think they have silk. 
not they're not that fancy but it's that material that's silky like I can't think what it's called but I like that because it's soft same with any clothing I just happened to walk by in the women's section that looked like it might be soft I gotta touch it or actually even any stuffed animals stuffed toys in the toy section gotta touch gotta touch gotta touch I know I'm weird. Same with, well, it's not the same thing, but um, when I go to the toy section, the kid in me comes out, and I've just got to touch all the buttons to get all the toys activated, you know, whether they're talking or singing or whatever, and then run to the next aisle like a big kid. Yeah, I'm weird. I know. But yeah, same with other stuff. I like, like what I have. I've had crystals. I like the ones that are smooth. Um, are you guys like that? I'm very... I guess that's sort of a sensory thing? I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. Mmm. Very good. I'm getting full. Mm. It's melting all over me. Mm. All right. Don't make it right, Scoop. I gotta go and wash my hands from chocolate now. Yeah, I'm all sticky. I'm a sticky Vicky. So anyway, I'm gonna scoot. If you guys are new to our channel, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, and hit the notification bell. Let me know if you've tried watching my collets, or if you're going to try them. I said I've not had them for years. I've forgotten how good they are. Hmm. As part of why I like doing my channel because. If I didn't have my channel, I probably wouldn't try some of these things that I've not had for years. A lot of this stuff, I have seriously forgotten how good this or that is. So, especially when you've not had it for like 10, 15 or more years. So, anywho, I'm going to get in and get cleaned up. I'll catch you guys again later. Bye-bye.